What is up, guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with a video I do every single year, a class setup video, and I like to do one really early on in the game to give you guys, especially anyone who is struggling with what classes, what weapons, what perks they should be using. I have it all down lock here, and this is probably the most recent one, so it is going to be a good one. You guys will get the most recent update and most recent classes. So I have six amazing classes right here. Now, this is mainly S and D, but this is obviously like also a split of response. You could use basically almost the same thing for a respawn, like hard point and things like that. Before I continue, you're going to see no nades. Just equipment is going to be blank. It's basically the specialist equipment. And the reason I'm using this is because of no cost and also because a lot of these S&D tournaments do not allow you to use a tactical. So you pretty much have to use nothing there. So let's get straight into it. The SOG, best sub right now. It's a sub you should be using. The subs just need a buff, man. And this is the only one that can compete with an AR. Really good close range. ARs are just overpowered. It's just too strong right now. And what I use is grip, stock one, and stock two. The reason I use stock one and stock two is because of what they use. Stock two, if you didn't know, maintain aim when jumping, landing, and moving while prone. So obviously you drop, you can sort of drop shot. And when you jump shot, you can maintain your aim better. So it allows you to do that. Quick draw on the sub, I don't really feel like, especially quick draw at the moment is necessary just because in search and destroy, there's not really like, a lot of times, especially if you have stock, you're going to be strafing corners. You're not necessarily going to be snapping on people as much, especially with quick draw. And the quick draw doesn't make too much of a difference. So this is what I'm trying right now. You can obviously take off stock too. And a lot of people run this class as well. Just grip, quick draw, and stock. And of course, you got stim shot. Stim shot is so good right now. They nerfed body armor, made it slightly weaker, and they reduced the movement speed while equipped. So body armor right now isn't that good, in my opinion. And st stim shot is just better. And obviously, in these tournaments right now, stim shot is the only thing you can use, which makes sense. And then, of course, you got lightweight and dexterity. Dexterity is pretty much a must at the moment just because... Increase weapon accuracy while jumping or mantling. So jump shotting again. So if you got dexterity and stock two, obviously I took it out for now. But if you have both of them, your jump shot, just precise aiming. So it's really good to have dexterity. I think dexterity is going to be, it's not, I wouldn't say a crutch perk, but it's very viable and it's worth using it when you can and if you can most of the time. And of course, lightweight as a sub. This is sort of like a rush good subclass. Um, this is probably the best subclass you can use. Then for my second class, ICR, best gun in the game, in my opinion. Best overall gun in the game. There's obviously some good guns. Now, I'm going to have two ICR classes. I'm obviously, rocking the gold cam, as you can see, is really sexy. But I got the reflex sight. I'm using a blue dot. If you guys don't know what the blue dot is, it's called red dot plus. It's the second sight on here. Then you got quick draw, grip one, grip two. If you don't know what grip do, two does, the minimized recoil aiming before firing, obviously, the, the gun just beams. But what makes the grip two so effective is the reduced flinch when aiming down the sight. If you ever shoot at someone where you have grip two, it basically doesn't move. You don't really flinch at all. It's just really good. So this is my first class, and you got the lightweight and dexterity. Again, the, like, the lightweight dexterity combo. Of course, you should be rocking death silence on pretty much every class unless you're playing pubs. And, of course, you could be rocking ghosts. I think you should definitely be rocking ghosts. So I got this combo. This is more of an aggressive ICR kind of get in your face. Now, this is my class. You, but you guys are shocked. Why is there no stim shot here? Why are you using no gear? Well, obviously, to run lightweight and dexterity, I can't. I got to take out stim shot. I got to sacrifice something. And the way I look at it, like in ICR and especially in these S and D games, in the recent one you should probably be running stim shot 24/7. But in S and D, you know, I'm gonna be, especially in the ICR, I'm gonna be laid back. I'm gonna be usually posted up, pre aiming. There's never gonna be a chance. Like there, I might get in that situation, but the situation, the chance of me getting in that situation is very low. I'm usually not gonna be a situation where I need stim shot to constantly healing myself and be like in high. Like if I'm posted, if I'm pushed up like that with an ICR, I'm probably playing it wrong. So this is my my class without stim shot, and it works really well. I mean, obviously you still have your heal. You know, you just don't heal as fast, and you don't heal. You can't heal as often, but still a really good class. Now for my third class, I got the vapor. The vapor is another really good submachine gun, rocking the elo sight, long barrel, stock one, stock two. Uh, just the best ones you can use. High count rapid fire band suppressor is not a good idea, and fast mags is obviously not really needed. So I'm rocking these four attachments. Really good attachments. I got the stim shot, lightweight, dead silence, and the garrison. I like using lightweight on this one just because I like being sort of fast with the vapor. I mean, you can run dexterity too. The biggest thing I think in search and destroy, is specifically in search and destroy, you don't really need lightweight pretty much. Like you can run dexterity if you want to. There's not really a need for lightweight. So you can run a lot of dexterities on this class. You can see I either have the lightweight dexterity combo or I usually have just dexterity. Um, but yeah, I, I like lightweight on the vapor just because the vapor is like a hybrid kind of aggressive AR. So I like having that speed. But I, I, lately, I've been running a little dexterity more. So dexterity, like I said, just a very good per perk. 
Then I obviously have the RK7. It's pretty much like an RK5, a burst, uh, three probably a three burst, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, three round burst pistol. And it's very strong. And it's more so like if I run out, you know, ammo my vapor and I need to clean up a kill or I need to trade and run out. It's just, it's really good to have in your back. And I know before I continue, you guys are wondering why I don't really have any first perks. Uh, the main reason is because, like I said, no nades are allowed. The only time you should be having a first perk in these tournaments is Flak Jacket if they have an RC car or a dart. But if dart direct impacts you, usually just kills you. So, I mean, Flak Jacket doesn't work really well. Um, but yeah, the, and the Rampart for my next class is more of a respawn class. And the reason I'm showing this class, so for the people who are who want obviously like a respawn class as well, well, these are all sort of respawn classes, sort of what I use for respawn. But obviously, this is they're like more for so S and D. So this is more of a respawn class. The Rampart is really strong. I think it's one of the better better respawn guns, especially if you're like an aggressive AR type of player or an aggressive type of player. So I got Tac Mask. I think Tac Mask is really going to respawn with concussions and nine bangs. Just super annoying, super effective. You know, you, if you're being pretty aggressive, you shouldn't be really getting hit by nades and stuff as much. Got the dexterity and lightweight combo. Just really good. Um, I mean, like I said, just a really good combo. Got that silence on. Obviously, if you're playing re respawn or SD, unless you're playing pubs, but if you're playing anything competitive, you want that dead silence on. Got the stim shot. Uh, I'm using reflex sight just because I have that extra point. I think reflex sight is pretty good. Some people like the iron sight. Um, the iron sight isn't bad, but I don't want to look through a little hole. I'd rather have a good red dot sight to, you know, have precise shot. Then I got grip and I got long barrel. Uh, this gun doesn't really have that many attachments. Like you can use high cal, but high cal is banned. Uh, FMJ is the next thing. FMJ is really good versus uh, body armor, but no one is running body armor because it's banned as of now. And respawn body armor might be used more. So then that's when you can maybe, you know, sacrifice maybe a perk one. And a red dot and maybe use use a uh, iron sign just put on fmj for that body armor but as of now like i said uh red dot the script and long barrel is good enough for my fifth class it's the maddox and i love the maddox i think this is one of my favorite ars right now it just it's a it's a very you, like i said how the vapor is like a hybrid like aggressive kind of ar well the maddox is the same but the maddox is even better close up the vapor has a little bit like guns the maddox like from range but the maddox usually wins closer up gunfights um, they're both really good hybrids. Uh, Mad Vapor and Maddox, both really good ARs. Uh, for this class, I got the Quick Draw Stock and Quick Draw Two. If you don't know, Quick Draw Two does maximize aiming speed, so you aim in extremely fast. Peripheral vision uh, increases a little bit. So that's the good thing about good, uh, Quick Draw Two. You can obviously run the laser sights, but I don't think I mean laser sight. It's okay on this gun. Uh, I've tried it, but I'd rather just run Quick Draw, Quick Draw Two. Uh, especially aiming the aiming very quickly is really good. It can help you in those that that split like half second can help you win that gunfight. And the reason I'm running rocking uh, iron sight on this is because I'm running lightweight and dexterity. Um, the elo sight is actually really good on this. The iron sight isn't too bad, especially if you're playing aggressive. You're gonna be up in people's faces. You don't really need a sight, but it then again it depends on your play style. So if you're gonna be aggressive, if you're not gonna be like super aggressive and you kind of had like that, if you like a elo or red dot, this is what you probably should do. Uh, just keep dexterity. This is what I've been rocking. Rock the ELO. And then obviously you can either put Flak Jacket. This is kind of what the class I've been rocking. Uh, Flak Jacket, like I said, if they have an RC car or something, you can eat that, uh, you know, later on maybe in tournaments when they finally allow nades, you know, you can eat some nades. So this is the class sort of I use and I've been using. Uh, Dexterity, like I said, just like sort of a crutch perk right now. It's really effective, good with jump shotting and things like that. And then if you want, you know, you can always, if you like the pistol so much or you want an extra pistol, well, you can just substitute. Uh, I think all the pistols are pretty good. Uh, I, I honestly like all the pistols. I've been trying them all out. Uh, the RK7, I think, is the most consistent. Uh, but yeah, they're all really good. And then for my last class is another ICR. So this is the second ICR. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Obviously, I have two ICR classes because they're both really good. So these two classes you're going to see are slightly different. This ICR is more of an aggressive rush. You got the lightweight dexterity. You got a quick draw, a very aggressive class. And search... I got so here I got no quick draw FMJ. This is this is good for maps that are more wall bangable. For example, like firing range, you got tin, you got wood. I mean, you got both tins. A lot of stuff are wall bangable and firing range, so FMJ is a little bit more effective on the map. So instead of running quick draw FMJ search, you're not really gonna need to let's say you preem a lot more search rather than you don't and like you you already zoom in kind of fast. Like it's not that bad without quick draw. So you could you could kind of get away with it. Um, so I just have the F and J class. Then instead of having the 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 lightweight dexterity, I'm rocking flak jacket and a pistol. Um, again, you know you run out of ammo, things like that. You got the pistol to back you up. You will be in the situation. And I mean, if anything, you could just do this. This is kind of what I, what I like to do as well. 
So instead of having uh, the lightweight dexterity combo, especially with it, like ICR, you won't really need lightweight, you know, especially you're playing it like sort of a slow kind of like methodical play style. You can just run dexterity. You can have a flak jacket and you can have a stem shot. And I mean, it's it's just you're able to do so much in this 10 point system. But right now, this is a second class that I like to use, especially, like I said, in wall bangable maps. So these are the, the six classes I have right now. Most recent, I think these are the most effective classes, the best guns. People ask me what are the best guns, the SOG, best SMG, ICR, Vapor, and Maddox, best ARs. And then you can obviously add the Swordfish in there as another one, and the Rampart as another one. Swordfish really only viable, or the ABR only viable in search, in my opinion, at the moment. And Rampart, really good respawn gun. I wouldn't really recommend using a search. It's not consistent enough. People post up in too many headies. So these are the classes. This is my class setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned some new things. And you, hopefully you know you guys can start dominating with these classes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Obviously supports the YouTube channel. And it means a lot. And I'm obviously, I've been streaming a lot every day. And I'll continue to stream a lot every day. So make sure to check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy. I hope to see you there. It's been your boy, Apathy. And I'm out. Peace.